Hello everyone, this is Crystal Mage Knight Arthur, and welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 3, the Ashen Cell Sword play slash walkthrough. Last episode, we explored a good part of the Undead Settlement, found two covenants, well two covenant items, met an interesting sorcerer, found out what happened to Freyrat's friend Loretta, and besides that, not much else. Oh, well, he died to an NPC invasion. Because I got greedy for a crystal lizard, but it worked out in the end. Now, for this episode, we're going to be doing a particular quest line. Well, technically, kind of two of them. One of the, the main quest line will be with that sorcerer character we found at the beginning of the Dead Settlement. Under the first bonfire. The second one will be Grey Rats, or at least progressing it to where we can send them off. Anyways, let's get started. Now, since we talked to Grey Rat last episode and gave him Rose bone, and we will go to the screen, he's curled up. Like I said before. Heaven. But before we do anything, and I think those halls are outside. The noises? Is that or it's something else inside? Ah. Uh -huh. How can you be of service? Let's see. Shit, I don't know if we have a torch. There we go, let's buy Ashen one of Now, let's go over the goal. Get some dialogue. Oh, our champion of Ash. Welcome home. This pilgrim, with a debt in death, hardly deserves to behold this divine flame. I'm not the first flame. And I never would have, had you not taken me into your service. I thank you dearly for this, and assure you of my leal service. Okay, that's a bit ominous when his voice changed, but first time we talked to him, we have Star Options Draw True Strength, Purchase Items, which is basically just spells that... Well, if you're a sorcerer, here's where you get some of these spells early on in game. Magic Weapon, buff, never really used it. Heavy Soul Arrow, Soul Arrow. Assuming you didn't start out as a sorcerer, here you go. And Magic Shield. And that's pretty much it. Let's first talk to him so we could get more dialogue. As I have said, I was once a sorcerer. Alas, the magic of Londor is a far cry from the wonders of Vinheim. But I can teach you what I know. Perhaps, more importantly, I believe that I can help tease out your true strength. We pilgrims of Londor are keenly aware that those branded by the dark sign possess something quite special. So he gives us the beck and gesture. Let's talk to As him. As I again. have said, a lot, but okay, so I believe we pay the dude. We get some hints about the dark sign, which is part of the quest line. You'll see what and I mean. Shall we begin? Bearer of the dark sign, let your true strength shine. So it's kind of like the Lord of Darkness endings from Dark Souls 1 and kind of to a lesser degree Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 is a bit weird, but... Anyways, it's like you're becoming a Lord of Darkness, but different. Londor supposedly figured out a way of... being able to get pa surpass the first flame by usurping it, instead of just letting it f die and stuff, they figure out another way, which is basically take the flame and put it into your body. We'll learn about this from the other character that we meet from Londor, Yuria, who will appear after Yul basically keels over. But we have to do Yul's quest line before we meet the Abyss Watchers. I believe it's before the Abyss Watchers, because if not, he'll be dead and Yuria won't show up. Well, actually, I think he'll be gone. I wasn't missing. But... Y'all can give us an extra low up, so let's put our boy of stamina. Be safe, champion of ash. Now, after you 
select draw true strength, go to your key items section of the inventory, and we see we have a dark sign. Now, the max we can hold is eight. We'll get three of them from a certain place later on in the game. We we'll probably should have every idea where this is, but... From Yol, we'll get five of them. And in order to get more of them, we have to die. Oh, also, dying has the benefit of making the game reload. And when we can do Grey Rats on the quest line. So, let's suicide! Oh, shit, right, I have enough vigor to survive, and okay, Han. Oh my god, we just died right at her feet! Actually, shit, I think we may have crushed her feet with our head. Maybe not crushed. But I was like, ow! My feet! Now, since we died, you can see we have something called a hauling level. The degree in which our character is cursed. And if it grows too high, it's like 15 or above for hauling level. Your character looks like beef jerky. A.K.A. Ick. Now. We need to die again, because in order to get every other... All the other citrus, we have to die at least twice. Each time. So... We're gonna die again. Oh, uh, wait. Shit. Shit. Yep, screw it. We can die again and talk to Grey Rat afterwards. <laughs> I love to scream! It's hilarious! It's morbid as hell, but it is kind of hilarious. Like, ah! Oh. Ow. Alright. We'll get back our meager mouse souls later, but first, let's just roll down here. I'm gonna talk to you all. Oh, I would. As I have a. But I'm okay. Weak, but the... Yeah, he's not gonna say anything else, so. And show me strength. We're putting points into endurance until we get like 20. Be safe. Now, since we got our. Since we leveled up with. Since we draw on our true strength again, we've got. Two sigils, so we need to get to level 6 in terms of hollowing. Just to be able to. Get in our draw to true strength option. Also, let's talk to Grey Rat. I think he's gone over Loretta's death. Oh, gone over is a poor choice of words. I think he's. Cub to accept it? Ah, there you are. There we go. I was thinking. You know I'm a petty thief. Well, perhaps I'll go on the prowl. Everyone's dead or hollowed away anyway, right? So I might as well fetch some weapons or treasure for you. Well, what do you say? And this is where we set up the pillage. Thank you. You will not be disappointed. Grey Rat the Thief was once a well-known name until I ended up rotting in a cell. <laughs> Goodbye. I will leave for some time. So long for now. Do stay safe, you hear? Or my efforts will have been for naught. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Let's... I keep doing that. I keep treating this like it's solid sanctuary and consuming one at a time. Oh, wow. I can consume our souls. Now let's quickly go up and grab the rest of the souls we have. Up there. Should be up here. And oh, okay. let's see. Yeah, we're gonna buy as many fire as we can. There we go. 
Goodbye, Duke. Fires will help in terms of anything, really. Because we're gonna be Nano soon. Now it's just. And by soon, I mean there's an area that's so shitty that long range fighting is the way to go for that. I do not care that we're gonna lose, like. Oh wow, texture popping out. I don't care if we're gonna lose, like. Eight souls, like, ooh, we can make that back, like, go right outside and murder everything. And... Fall! I like to figure that sound is our characters snapping their... ankles before dying. Anyways, now we'll go back to y'all. Oh, I then bet. I will say this: this episode's gonna be boring, pretty much because he's just killing myself, talking to y'all, drawing out our true strength. A few times we talked to Gray Rat, and he's gone. Now I believe Hawkwood is God, apparently. Odd, but it doesn't really matter. Ah, I feel so good right now. Yeah, we need to get to level 12 since we have three sigils. Kinda weird that my souls ended up there. Oh, bloodstain was there. Oh, curious thing! Once we get to high level 12, we just need to die once more. Because then we'll be truly hauled. And then we can draw our strength for the last time. So it's after first sigil, die twice to get the other three. Then die once more to get the last one. I just totally forgot we're supposed to go down there first, but... Oh. Oh, I... Then bet. Be safe. Okay, so at this point, for sigils... Now prepare to, well... Uh, look like jerky. There is a ring that can help cure that, but no. Well, there's a ring that can help at least make us not look like jerky, but there are several ways of curing the jerky look and resetting our holly bubble. One of which is in the Undead Settlement. The other is from Yuria. Which... I will say this, the item we get from Yuria to re make us not look like this and reset high level to zero, it will not get rid of the dark sigils. Just to warn everyone, there's a certain process you have to go through with the Firekeeper to do that. But otherwise, the item I'm talking about that Yuria sells is called Purging Stone. It's like 4,500 souls per Purging Stone. Basically, Resets high level and makes us not look like a beef jerky. And as soon as, after a certain point, like after like well 45 and up, the purging stones will be more cost effective than going to a certain statue in the undead settlement. Because that certain statue requires you to pay like a hundred souls per soul level to get rid of your hauling. So yeah, it'll be more cost effective eventually, just to get the purging stones. Oh. I would do. Then shut that. And there we go. Be safe, our lord. And so after getting the last dark side from Yo, he says, "Be safe, our lord." Oh, I. Ah, you have attained ample strength. All will soon be clear, my good lord. As I have said, I'm a weep. 
be safe. So that's pretty much it. It's Jules quest line, and I really want to see if. Okay, there's Hawkwood. Let's talk to him. See if he has anything new to say. At the foot of Lock, it was if. <laughs> okay, so that was before. At the foot of Lock, it was if. <laughs> okay, so apparently I think we have to beat the boss. Oh, a boss, just to get him to say something. Actually, no, I think we have to arrive at Rose's sacrifices for him to say new things. So we're basically hollow now. And this episode is pretty much done. Next episode, we will continue on from the last bonfire we had locked in the Undead Settlement. We will meet a jolly old onion, which should make the titling of the vid next video easier. About that, the reason why. The last video was how to untend cells is because there was nothing really remarkable. Well, nothing remarkable enough for us to make the title special. Maybe we could have titled it Untend Summit or I want to figure out Untend Summit 1 works. Next one, we may just feature a new title or help just say Undead Summit 2. Oh, well, we'll get to that when we get there. So, done for this episode. Next time. We'll be back at the Undead Settlement. This is Crystal Mage Knight Arthur, and I'll see you all later.